Sea World with Kokoro. An edible fluid? What on earth? Ed and myself take a nostalgic walk through an old part of Nagoya. This program is made possible in part by TCC Network Station. Hi everyone, this is TCC World. In Japan, there is a traditional food made of bamboo called shakuhachi. An event was held in Nagoya City to make food out of objects close to hands and then give a performance on its instrument. This is a report from StarCat Cable Network. Listen to this sound. That must be a recorder or a flute. It's not? Then what is it? Believe it or not, the sound is coming from chikua. Chikua is a Japanese tube-like food product made from ground fish meat wrapped around a bamboo stick and steamed or boiled. It has been getting a lot of attention recently overseas as a low-fat and high-protein health food. An exciting workshop was held where participants were challenged to produce and play a flute made of chikua or vegetables at the Agricultural Center in Nagoya City. The instructor was Mr. Sumitaku Masato, a musician well known for playing his chikua flute. First, he performed some movie-themed tunes with the big, fishy flute that he had prepared earlier. Then the participants were given large pieces of chikwa and they practiced making a sound with them themselves. They ate a bit of their chikwa to create a mouth for the flute and tuned it by pinching it. All the assembled people listened to the tasty tones of the flutes created from the delicious food. You too can make your own flute from ordinary chikwa sold in stores. Why don't you give it a go? The Christian God is said to have formed Adam, the first man, from dirt a long time ago. Here in Japan, there are many little gods that can make all kinds of things. This is a report from Green City Kevo TV. Believe it or not, about two tons of clay are used in place of water in this mud pool. Seto City, Aichi Prefecture is famous for pottery and ceramics. That's why clay, the raw material for pottery, is used. The children who jumped barefoot into the clay pool love to play with the clay, kneading it or rolling it into a ball in their hands. The cool clay made the children's faces melt into a smile. They used their imagination and enjoyed building large mountains or digging holes by making the most of the nature of the clay. These kids are enjoying themselves almost as much as perhaps God would create with clay. Coming up, we will sample a plant quoted in the well-known Japanese proverb, so stay tuned. Globalize with local eyes. TCC World. In English speaking countries, there is a proverb there is no accounting for a taste. This expression is equivalent to a Japanese proverb, tadeku mushimo skizuki, or some insects like to eat the hot water paper plant. This proverb means that the tastes differ as demonstrated by some insects eating the very hot leaves of water paper plant. Kevu TV Kani has this report on event where the spicy leaves are eaten after the festival. This festival called Annual Festival of Tsushima Shrine is a traditional one to pray for a huge harvest. The festival is divided into two days. On the first day, a ceremony was performed where all the participants made an offering of sacred sake or rice called shinsen to the gods. 
After the ceremony, paper lanterns were lit and their soft, tender glow illuminated the summer sky. On the second day, an evening feast was held after a prayer called Shinji, a Shinto ritual, was over. As has been customary since ancient times, the participants ate tsuyomeshi, or glutinous rice with red beans and cold soybean curd called yayako, garnished with tade, or water pepper. Some people were surprised at the hot taste of water pepper, while others enjoyed the spiciness. Their reaction just goes to show that the old Japanese proverb, tadeku mushi mo tsukizuki, or there is no accounting for tastes, is still true even today.